Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to enable Virtualization Based Security, or VBS, using Group Policy in Windows. If you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and drop a comment below. Let's get started. <laughs> Press Windows Plotthesar SAR to open the Run dialog box. Type gpedit msc and hit Enter. This will open the Local Group Policy Editor, where we'll configure VBS settings. In the Group Policy Editor, navigate to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, System Device Guard. Once you're in the Device Guard section, you'll find the options we need to enable VBS, Double-click on Turn on Virtualization-Based Security. In the pop-up window, select Enabled. Under Select Platform Security Level, choose Secure Boot or Secure Boot and DMA Protection. Under Virtualization-Based Protection of Code Integrity, select Enabled with UEFI Lock or Enabled without Lock, depending on your needs. Click OK to save the changes. Now, we've successfully configured the VBS settings. Just a couple more steps to apply this configuration. To apply the changes, restart your PC. After restarting, VBS will be enabled on your system, adding an extra layer of security. And that's it. You've successfully enabled virtualization-based security using group policy. If this video helped you out, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And then don't forget to subscribe for more tech tutorials like this. Have questions or suggestions for future videos? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.